What's up, you guys? Welcome back to The Real ZB, where we talk all things locks, lifestyle, and hopefully you share a few laughs. So today, let's talk about itchy scalps, hey? You know, sometimes life gets difficult. Sometimes life gets very busy and you just don't have time or you forget to wash your hair. I know I'm guilty of this. Are you also guilty of this, you know? And even when you force yourself to wash your hair, sometimes you just get lazy to be putting all of that products. Because I'm telling you guys, washing locks is a full-time job as it is. So sometimes I get very lazy <laughs> to properly wash my hair. So what I found has resulted from all of this, what I find has transpired is that my scalp has been quite itchy these days so i was just like you know what let me make a video on how i get rid of my itchy scalp there's no time like the present so let's get into some things that you can do and that i do when i have an itchy scalp instead of this and this <laughs> the first thing you need to always have apple cider vinegar it's non-negotiable like if you have natural hair if you have locked hair and you don't have apple cider vinegar what are you doing because one way that you can get rid of your itchy scalp is to either um, do an apple cider vinegar rinse um, I refer to this video up here to see how I did my apple cider vinegar rinse so you do an apple cider vinegar rinse or what you can do is to actually um, use your finger and put the apple cider vinegar um, through your hair like that but for me I don't like to put just pure apple cider vinegar on my hair so what I normally do is I dilute it a little bit in some water and then that is what I will put like actually on my hair sometimes I actually use my spray bottle so I would um, mix the apple cider vinegar in with the water and I'll just like spray where it itches the most and i just like spray it throughout my hair as well and i found that works well like after some time i'm just like oh my hair's not itching anymore so apple cider vinegar is your friend when it comes to getting rid of any type of itchiness in your hair without scratching because we don't want to be scratching our hair off and having our hair falling off and breaking our hair and all of that stuff and we don't want to be giving ourselves con concussions by patting our hair so hard and then another thing um, that you can use is the MPL oil that I've spoken about so many times um, it, it you must get the original one because there's quite a few variations of the oil so actually I had to go and fetch it just as a visual aid so it's this one again this one MPL please sponsor me um, so it's the MPL hair oil and it's the original one, okay? They have quite a wide range of oils and I know um, they all, a lot of them look the same. Like the coconut oil also comes in a bottle like this. And I think the castor oil also comes in a bottle like this. So just make sure it's the original one because this is the one that is going to soothe your scalp. It's the one with all the nice medication that makes your scalp tingle and it just feels like a warm hug on your scalp so this is the one so you just massage some of this onto your scalp um you know what could actually also work is when you're doing your hot oil treatment use some of this as some of the hot oil that you are going to use in your hot oil treatment and then yeah so then you obviously rinse it out and after that your hair will thank you some essential oils that you can also use to soothe your scalp is tea tree oil and peppermint oil um so peppermint oil also has that tingling sensation it just feels like god is scratching your hair you know but without all of the damage that comes with your hair being scratched so try peppermint oil and um, tea tree oil as well but remember to dilute these either in another carrier oil or you um, mix them in with water before you actually go ahead and massage them onto the scalp they are safe enough to use on the scalp as well but just make sure that you are you know 
um, diluting them in something because they are quite potent so you don't you don't want to cause more damage by preventing another form of damage so just make sure that you're diluting those um, before you apply them onto your scalp you can also just pour some water into a spray bottle add a few drops of the essential oil and then spray it into your hair it will work just as well and that pressure i don't know if it's water pressure or whatever but the spray actually works really nicely and it also distributes um the oil mixture the the water and oil mixture nicely and evenly throughout your hair and you can also spray directly to where it itches and bob is your uncle something else that you can look for um is aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice um, with aloe vera gel how you use it is you'd apply the aloe vera gel onto your scalp sit with it for about 20 to 25 minutes um, and then you rinse it out and then you'll find that your scalp is a lot you know what I mean soothed and then with aloe vera juice what I like to do is to pour it in with my mixture my water mixture and I just spray away I am itching and it also works just as well and finally <laughs> finally um, keep your hair clean because prevention is better than cure trust me um, so if you are keeping your hair clean if you are keeping a consistent routine and regimen on wash having a set wash day and keeping your hair clean making sure that you're keeping up to date with your grooming routine then there's less chances of your scalp or your yeah of your scalp um getting irritated and itchy unless you're using products that uh your hair doesn't agree with or your scalp doesn't agree with so if you're keeping up with your wash day routine and everything else and, and you realize that your scalp is still itchy then probably look at switching out some of the products that you're using or using less products or uh, switching to more natural products also evaluate whether there's any dryness that is going on um, in your scalp and then um, watch this video over here to find out how you can hydrate and keep the hydration of your hair going i hope that you found this video helpful so for more lock videos please click some of the videos on the screen subscribe 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 if you have not already and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye